Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends, and once again, thank you for stopping by. So it's a build day, and we love a build day. So this is the new 2023 re-re of the Boomerang. Um, still sealed, haven't opened it yet, but we're going to build it in this video. Super excited. But before we get into the build, this is a sponsored build from my good friend Jason over at Pedals Bicycles and RC Shop. Um... Yeah, just a massive thank you, Jason. Now, as I said in the last video, the most important bit about Pedal's um, bicycle and RC shop now is all the RC stuff is now on his website, and the website is awesome. So you can also be found on Instagram. I'll put the Instagram links, the website links in the pinned comment and also in the video's description should you be interested. And uh, Jason, if you're watching, just a massive thank you, my friend. Um, I'm looking forward to putting this one together. So, as always, yep, you know, let's get cracking. Right then, that's everything out and uh, let's go. So just looking at the manual... Um, step one is the, I'm looking at, it's a differential, it's got a bit of a rear hasn't it, I think we'll start with the rear gearbox. Right, that's up to, well now I want to step three, which is obviously as you can see the rear gearbox. Um, both casings, the diffs are in and this is a hardware and a bit, a couple of bits of plastic to put this together, which is the next stage. Now, going to be very open and up front with you, this is a complete shelf queen. Um, it, so far it's come with four, four ball bearings for the outdrive, but rest of it is bushes. I'm doing this build completely dry, no grease, because I have zero intention. This one is just for the collection. Um, in a video coming relatively soon, you might or you will see another boomerang that I've got, which, I'm, which is going to be very different, um, and that's going to be ran. But this one was always just to get a boomerang in the collection. Um, so I'm just addressing that now in case you're in the comments going, there's no grease on that. There isn't, and it's bushes. It is what it is on this one. Um, anyway, let's get stage three completed and move on. Right, that's up to stage seven. Um, so obviously, rear box, <laughs> rear gear box all bolted up. It's come on a lot further, jumped a lot of steps because um, there's no motor going in it. I don't want that weight um, in there. And it's quite a process if you know this chassis. It comes with four set plates, which are basically just long spacers, and depending on what arrangement you put them in, um, denotes what pinion size you use, and it gives you two options, but again, not applicable for this build for me. Um, so straight on a um, front gearbox, everything's in. As I said, two bearings, a bearing on either side of the case for the outdrives, and on both gearboxes there's also a thrust bearing um, in there. So, yeah, that's up to stage eight, which is to bolt that together now. And we have front and rear gearboxes done. Obviously, very quick if you're not greasing and putting a motor in. Um, but anyway, all bolted up. Looking at stage nine now, where we're going to concentrate on the rear gearbox and start putting the rear shock mounts on and top arms. Right, we're moving along nicely. So, rear gearbox now has the um, rear, I don't know what you call them. I suppose the guards aren't they but they also um, hold the little plastic bits for the battery plate and obviously as you can see in blue is the rear shock tower um, that was stage 9 and 10 was building the arms the rear arms up um, and then looking at the instructions 11 now is just to dig the um, dog bones out and stick it all together and that is stage 11 complete which is as you can see the full rear end awesome um even though i've not even greased these um the pins in the arms it's it's still free enough obviously the benefit for me um doing a dry build it's not great for the gearbox but it obviously it's not going to move so it makes no difference whatsoever but sometimes bits like this um, can be too a little bit tighter than they normally would be but it allows me to sit the car to the correct stance on the shelf really easy without putting spaces in the, the shocks and whatever so yeah there's method in my madness um, anyway moving on to stage 12 we're now moving on to the front end so um, let's get cracking right that's stages 12 and 13 done um, which is obviously the front arm arrangement I was kind of giggling to myself because I've not built one of the hotshot chassis for a, a while. I don't know, this is a boomerang, but um, the principles are the same. And <laughs> it's 
it's such a fun indication of just where Tamiya were at and whatever year, well, not so much a boomerang, but when, what was the first one, the, the hot shot with this front arrangement. It's just very different and quite fiddly to put together. Um, but it just kind of shows you where the sort of the, des the design and technology was at in the early 80s or whatever it was. But uh, yeah, it's, it really is super fun to uh, put together and it really gives you an appreciation of early Tamiya, in my humble opinion. Anyway, looking at the manual, moving on to stage 14, which is to put all this together. And that is both front and rear finished. Um, it's awesome. Enjoyed this. Or I am enjoying this, I should say. Uh, moving on to step 15, which is to start building um, or starting putting bits on the chassis. Right, so we've jumped up to the next one is section 8, 18. So we've got, um, not done a great deal with this, but the rear body posts are on. Obviously the battery holders are on. Um, not putting a servo in it, but I put the servo mounts in there, and we've got the steering set up, which works like that. If you didn't know the boomerang, it's not like the big wing. It's not the rack and pinion. It's uh, anyway whatever. I guess you know what it is. So looking at instructions, number eighteen now is to bolt the rear gearbox on the back, and then it tells you to build um, the shocks up. So I'll get all that done, then I'll come back. Right, I bypassed the shock, so now um, I just wanted to sort of get it built up. So since the last, obviously, the prop shaft's now in uh, and the front gearbox is in with one bolt there um, on either side and then the lovely boomerang bumper is there. So, yeah, everything's kind of doing as it should. Um, next thing now is the front um, anti-roll bar, which then secures the gearbox in fully. So let's get that built. Right, let's see front stabilizer in position doing its thing as you can see awesome I was, I was i spent a little bit of time on this because as i alluded to earlier i'm going to do a second boomerang but it's going to be a, a very trick winger um and one of the main bits for winger is it wants instead of the mono shot it's going to have jewels on now you do get the big wig parts tree in this which has got the front big wig arms on which i'm going to use on the other one but I was wondering if I use the big wig front towers, which I have to do, I don't want to use the metal ones from a super shot, if I can still put the stabilizer on. But um, yeah, probably that'll be for, I'll probably find that out when I actually do the second one. Anyway, I digress. So yeah, really happy with that. So I'm, what I'm going to do now is build all the free shocks up. Now it looks like a boomerang. Not only that, now it just looks like your iconic Tamiya chassis from back in the 80s. Absolutely, it's funny. A lot I've heard a lot of people. I don't know if they're joking, but just say get rid of them terrible yellow shocks. Those yellow shocks are everything to me for Tamiya because when I was growing up, that's the only shocks pretty much that Tamiya were using was the yellow CVAs, and I just think they're amazing. Um, I just love them, absolutely love them. But I'm biased. Uh. Anyway, um, right, that's all gone together really well. What I need to do now is dig the big battery plate out and the pin and the wheels and tyres. Right, so that's the battery cover on. Just for, just in case you don't know the boomerang, how it works, you get this pin. So that pulls all the way out and then obviously that lifts up to put your battery in. Very simple. And that feels a little bit loose, but once you put your foam underneath and and it's and your battery's in, what it does, it just pushes down on the door slightly and makes that pin harder to come out. So it's not as if it just falls out, if that makes sense. It does in my head. <laughs> right. Um, just wheels and tyres now. Look at that thing. That's a thing of beauty, isn't it, my friends? Love it. Absolutely love it. It's just, oh, nearly suave, and it's just pure Tamiya. And it just floats my boat. So, so cool. Brand new smell of rubber. What they, what's, what's those tyres called? Oval blocks are called, aren't they? Love it. Just super sweet in them yellow CVAs. Obviously, there's quite a bit missing the blue frame because the driver's got to go in, but I'll have to do all that when I'm doing the body. I did, well, I'll talk about this in the outro now, actually. And she's built. And that was massively enjoyable. It really was. Um, it's just... I don't know, it's just 
reminiscing, I guess, as you're building things like this. Just super cool, and you know the 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 very old design, early '80s, as I said earlier, from a hot shot. Um, yeah, just very cool, and it's just pure Tamiya, isn't it? <laughs> I'm looking. You know, any time I've got to build some yellow CVAs, I just I just love it. Um, so I, I had actually planned to do the full, get this car finished in this one video, but the weather, we've just got some serious rain and it's there for the next couple of days. I think next three or four days, to be honest. So I'll end this video here um, and then when the weather decides to give me a dry day, I'll uh, I'll get cracking and get this finished because uh, now I've got this built, I'm itching to get it finished. There's only it's quite straightforward. Obviously, the boomerang's just one color white, two piece body, really easy to paint. Got to get all the the driver figure painted and that, and then we'll do a tire decals and then she's finished. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I've got to be honest. So um, yeah, just a massive thank you again to everyone who's clicked on this video. It really is honestly massively, honestly massively appreciated. And uh, obviously, um, um, Jason, thanks so much, my friend, It's uh, for sponsoring this build. It's been a pleasure to put together. And uh, don't forget, everyone, to check out Jason's, um, all his contact information. And his, obviously, the website and all that information is in the pinned comment of this video. And I'll also put it in the About section as well of this video, should you be interested. Right, um, as always, my friends, you know what I'm going to say. Happy assing. Mm -hmm.